uh, last uh, uh, last time we have seen the definition of task okay uh, why you are going to divide the work into a number of tasks that we have seen next how uh, there are uh, there are different uh, state of your task okay how each task will go through the uh, different state we have seen so there are different uh, state of the task like running state of the task ready to run and block state okay so at any time we have seen uh, there is only one task in a running state uh, ready to run means it is uh, the task is ready to run but the cpu is not available because that is taken by some another task okay uh, there is a third type of uh, task called as a block task. Block task means uh, that is blocked. Okay, uh, you are not going to execute that task. Uh, still, there is something happens. Okay, so that is called as a block state. So we have seen that uh, at any time uh, there is only one task in the running state. Uh, there are a number of tasks that can be in a ready to run and block state. Okay, and also we have seen how the task moves from the uh, running state to block state and block state to ready to run and ready to run to running state. So this transition also we have seen. Okay. Then we have seen uh, the scheduler that uh, that is what is the function of scheduler. So scheduler will decide which task is going to run uh, uh, next. Okay. And also it will keep the information uh, regarding the uh, your task. Okay. Like the state of the task and also the priority of your task. Uh, now, in this lecture, we will see the uh, uh, task uh, and its related data and also we will take one uh, example of RTOS, that is how to write a practical code for uh, real-time operating system. Okay, so we will discuss one task uh, of uh, underground tank monitoring system. Okay, so before this, we will see uh, the task and data. Okay, so in this task and data, uh, this is what the diagram, is it visible to all? Okay, whether the diagram is visible to all. Yes, sir. Okay. So you just observe one by one. Okay. So this is the data uh, that is given as figure data in an art of based real time system. Okay. Uh, so you have uh, two, uh, two types of data. So one is called as a RTOS data structure. Okay. And that is what the RTOS. So basically RTOS is real time operating system and it having its own data structures. Okay. So this is the first data. Another data is there are three tasks uh, uh, shown in the uh, diagram that is task one, task two, and task three. Okay. Now, for each task, you have some related set of resources. Okay. So, for first task, the task one, it requires its own set of registers. Okay. So, that is shown as task one having its own set of registers and also task one having its own stack memory. Okay. So we have seen the significance of registers. So why we require the registers? Because we have to perform some operations. Okay, some kind of operations, maybe arithmetic, logical, okay, or data transfer or any compare operation. So all the operations are physically done in the registers and we cannot do these operations on the memory. So that's why we require the set of register. Another thing is we have the stack. Now what is the use of stack? Stack will keep the uh, address. Okay, that is a return addresses. That is, if you jump from task one to task two, now you require to keep the return address of task one. Otherwise, your task one will not be executed forever. Okay, so all the return addresses that you can keep on the stacks. Now, the similar case is with task two. Task two is also having its own set of registers called as a task two registers and task two stack. Okay, then you have the task three. Task 3 also having its own set of registers and the stack. So what is done in RTOS? In RTOS, each task having its own set of registers for its own operations. And also it requires one kind of stack. That is some part of memory is assigned to each stack physically. 1024, that is 1000 byte of memory is assigned to each task as a stack memory. Okay. So this memory will help to uh, help to uh, keep the written addresses whenever we jump from one task to another task. Okay, so that is what the significance of stack memory. Also, if you observe task one, task two, and task three. Okay, task one there is an arrow. Just see that from uh, arrow from task one that is go to the one block. So that block is called as all other data. So that data is called as a global data. Okay, and whatever the data is available for task, okay, 
that is called as the local data so task one have have the access to its own local data also it having the access to global data so global data can be shared by all the task that is task one can share task two also can share and task three also can share okay so this is what the uh, relation between the data and the task that is each task having its own local data as well as it can share the global data also okay but you cannot share the local data that means task one cannot share its data directly okay uh, to the task two or three so you have to go through some another process but each task can have as much as uh, global data access okay means one common data can be accessed by all the task okay so there is a question also there is how many task you can perform okay for example if i ask you people how many task you can perform at the time let 10 100 okay 1000 likewise so what is the maximum capacity of task to be executed by the rtos okay so that is one of the favorite questions and also the practical uh, things you have to uh, keep in the mind while designing the rtos so uh, actually uh, this ratio or this quantity depends upon the type of rtos you are going to use in the uh, embedded system now for example uh, in this subject we are going to use uh, microcontroller operating system 2 so if you use microcontroller operating 2 as a rtos for your embedded systems then then you can use <coughs> okay so then it is possible to uh, execute or it is possible to use at least 256 uh, different task okay that means you can put at this you can put at least 256 different task into your rtos okay or your operating system is capable of executing 256 task maximum okay minimum uh, you should have one two whatever okay but the maximum size should be 256 okay so this is uh, all about the task and data only. okay so while uh, using the rtos you should know that each task having its own set of registers and also you have uh, to know that each task having its own stack memory okay so while uh, using the rtos or while you writing the program for rtos you have to define the separate memory for each task so that's what the significance of this lab uh, now the question is uh, whatever we have seen that is real time operating system but if you go through the practical examples that is how to write the core for uh, real time operating systems and also we'll see how uh, rtos will performs okay its operations uh, in a real time so one simple example we will see the example is of uh, the underground tank monitoring system okay and this underground tank consists of gasoline okay so you can take any other uh, uh, liquid uh, uh, for example you can take a water also or uh, petrol or diesel tank you can take but i will take a gasoline because that is what the uh, mention in your reference book so i will just continue with this uh, gasoline so you have the underground tanks okay and these underground tanks consist of your gasoline type of liquid and our aim is to monitor the levels of this uh, these tanks okay so there are three uh, main tasks that we have defined okay uh, for your rtos so first is called as a v level task okay second task is called as a v button task okay and then you have the main main task or called as a main code okay which initializes the rtos so main is a code for your rtos to initialize or to start the rtos so basically we have only three uh, sorry basically we have only two tasks one is a level task and another is a button task okay uh, in uh, theoretically we have seen there are task 1 and task 2 so now task 1 is a level task and task 2 is a Uh, that is a uh, uh, important task is a level uh, that is your task two okay so just uh, you know this is important so i again request all the student to uh, be attentive for this example once you understood this example then your atos is very simple even you can do your own code also okay so theoretical understanding is uh, very important uh, uh, so that you can implement the code practically also okay so theoretical knowledge is very important so 
my example is very simple i have to monitor the underground tank which consists of the gasoline liquid so i have only two tasks uh, first task is called as a level task so this task will uh, read the levels uh, of your tank by using some floats so there are different types of sensors okay so most of the time float sensors are used okay so let i have a number of uh, floats in a single tank okay and by using those float sensors or float level sensors i can read the level of my task okay sorry level of my tank so that is what the first task called as a level task now second task is a button task now what is the objective of button task that is whenever there is a uh, there is a uh, one uh, button available okay and if you press that button uh, it will show the tank levels on your lcd okay so that is what the objective of button task that is whenever i press that button so uh, that is the level of your all the tanks will display on the lcd okay so that is what the basic objective of button task now what is the objective of level task that is it will read the uh, levels of your uh, that is float uh, levels of your tank by using float level sensors okay so that is what the objective of level task now there is a third task called as a main okay not task uh, it's a task but it's a called as a main program so there's a main program which is used to initialize the rtos okay <clears throat> so you just observe this is the uh, this is how to write a code for task okay task 1 this is a button task then there is a second task is called as a level task okay and there is a third task or third code or also called as a main code that is called as a rtos initialization code okay <clears throat> so just see this is simple void main void code okay so this is the this code is used to initialize the rtos okay so initialize but do not start the rtos just see this is also important point that will uh, that means you should be aware uh, that uh, that means this code will make aware about different task that going to be executed by the your cpu but do not start the rtos okay so there is a function called as a init rtos that is initialize rtos and this there are two brackets okay open brackets so this indicates that this is the function okay so this the code inside this initial rtos is a backend okay so this this is already available in the rtos so initialize rtos means you initialize the rtos but do not start now next statement is the uh, statement is given to see uh, there are comments that are given in slash star okay and star slash in between these two uh, that is uh, slash star and star slash there is a comment and remaining are the actual functions or the statements so second thing we have to make aware about the rtos is about the task that is tell the rtos about our task that is this is what the example now how many number of task and what are the different task i am going to execute so tell about this task to your rtos okay otherwise rtos will not know okay so we have to make him aware about which task we are going uh, going to execute or we are interested in which task let i have 100 task okay but out of 100 task whether you are interested in executing all 100 task or not Are you are interested in executing only two tasks? Okay, so you just put those two tasks into this RTOS. Okay, so that is what done. Just see, start the task. So there is a function S T A R T start task, and then you have in bracket P respond to button. Okay, so this is the first task, respond to button and high priority. So this function start task having two parameters. one is the name of the task and second is called as the priority of the task okay now second statement again start task okay we calculate tank level so this is the uh, second task okay that is the name of the task is we calculate tank levels and its priority okay and once i have aware make aware about these two task that is one will calculate the tank levels first task whose priority is low and i have another task for the respond to button whose priority is high so i have just make aware about my 
to task and also its related priorities to the RTOS. Uh, once this is over, now you can start the RTOS. So next statement is start the RTOS. So this function, this function, are uh, never returns. Okay, that means now we have seen that one property of your embedded system that is embedded system having a code which is a repeated itself for infinity time. Okay, still your embedded system is on; it will repeat the same code. Okay, so that is called as a super loop. Okay, we are putting it in a file. Just see. Uh, we are writing file one and then we'll write our code okay what is the meaning of this that is you execute the same task repeatedly okay for a infinite time so your this statement start rtos okay so this is a infinite time that it will not return that is it will put into a super loop okay so just see this is the first code of rtos that means you have to write practically this uh this statements okay so first statement or first program or this is called as a main program for rtos initialization in this you have to just write this void main void okay then initialize the rtos by using the function okay by function initialize rtos then tell the rtos about your two task that you are interested so first task is p respond to task and second is called as a p calculate tank levels okay and also you have to mention the priorities of these two tasks that is let's see whenever i press the button okay it should stop the calculation of the tank level and your cpu should or microcontroller should display the uh, uh, levels of your tank on the lcd so this is what the important task so that's why we have given the highest priority to the respond to button and calculate tank level this task have given the low priority okay and then you have to start the RTOS. So this is what the main code. Are you getting or not? Okay, whether you have understood the first part, RTOS. Yes or no? Just give me the confirmation. Everybody, there are 20 students. Are you getting or not? Or should I repeat? Yes, I am connected. I have no response. So I should repeat. Should I repeat? Okay, so I should repeat, no problem. Okay, uh, just say uh, the application is very simple. Just you have to design an RTOS, you have to practically design an RTOS, okay, or embedded system which is the RTOS. Okay, and what is the application? The application is very simple. You have some underground tanks, okay, and you are going to measure the levels of those tanks by using probe sensor, okay and that tank con contains gasoline types of liquid okay so i will take only two tasks i have only two tasks first task is a level task or to calculate the tank levels this is the first task and second task is a button task or respond to button task task okay that means first task will always monitor the levels of your tank and second task which is a button task that will always uh, gives you the current level of your tank okay whenever you press that button the uh, your microcontroller will give you the current level of your tank so that that are the two tanks okay but now you have to make it by using rtos okay and you have to switch these two tanks in between so here i have given statement scheduler switches processor from level task to 
button task okay and when you are going to going to switch from the level task to the button task okay so whenever there is a interruption by the user by pressing a push button okay just say one button is given on the embedded embedded system whenever user presses that button only then it will switch from the level task to the button task okay which is controlled by the main which initializes the rtos okay so what is the role of main rtos it will initialize the rtos it sets the priority levels and it will start the rtos okay so the main objective of the main uh, that is the main program is to initialize the rtos set the priority of level now what is the priority of level the level task having the lowest priority button task having the highest priority okay why this is so because whenever i want to uh, i want to get the levels of my tank okay i have to press the button and whenever i press the button your microcontroller has to stop whatever he is doing and he has to switch to the uh, button task okay and to display the current level of the your tank so for this uh, this is what the theoretical only that that i have to just uh, uh, that is calculate the levels of the tank and whenever i press the button it should display the value of that level on the lcd display this is what theoretical but how to do it practically so practically you have to write some code okay so how to write that code even if you have pen and pens uh, that is notepad and pen i have uh, last time also uh, requested to write it down okay so that will help you to understand the code <laughs> otherwise you are not going to remember uh, everything so what are the important thing uh, you should write so this is also one of the important point in your embedded system and rtos so how to write any rtos program so you have to write these codes and just see there are only four statements first is initialize the rtos second is to tell the rtos about the task so just see and nobody have asked me what is fee okay fee respond to task fee calculate tank level so this fee stands for the uh, syntax of your rtos okay what kind of rtos i am going to use okay so depending upon that this syntax uh, syntax will be uh, written into this rtos okay if you are using uh, mucos to it having a different syntax okay or if you are using rt linux it having different syntax likewise so this fee indicates that the type of rtos okay and its related functions otherwise we are not able to uh, differentiate what are the uh, inbuilt functions of your rtos and what are the user defined functions okay so this indicates that this is the function written for your that particular os okay so you in the in start task we have just uh, informed your rtos about the two task that is a respond to button task and calculate tank level task okay and also we have given the uh, its respective priorities and then we will start the rtos okay now this is the main code uh, i have only one minute okay in the previous session so just rejoin the second session otherwise you are not going to understand okay uh, that is the practical code of your rtos okay so next i will explain the button task now just see it's very simple button task uh, how to write any task first of all so this is how to write a any task any task okay so button task white fee button task that is the called as the name of the your task so white v button task okay and now this is the highest priority task okay then inside this curly bracket you have to write this see this is first curly bracket and then there is a second curly bracket okay and in this you have to write block okay that is file true block until user pushes a button okay and quick respond to user so these exclamatory marks shows the uh, you, you have some of the statement uh, related to your button task okay so practically you have to write some uh, actual statement but as this is called as a, a, a pseudo code okay this is called as a pseudo code okay not a actual practical code but you can convert this pseudo code into the actual practical code also okay so for for only the understanding purpose this kinds of codes are written okay that means 100% accuracy is not required but your understanding is required so for the understanding purpose 
this types of codes are written called as a pseudo code okay so you have to define the uh, first task that is button task okay and then in curly bracket you write down file 